गाइज होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी विच इज़ इंडियाज लार्जेस्ट ऑनलाइन लर्निंग पोर्टल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू बुक विच इज़ हनी सर्कल एंड द चैप्टर वन इज हु डिड पैट्रिक्स होमवर्क लेट्स गो अहेड एंड फाइंड आउट हु डिड पैट्रिक्स होमवर्क बिफोर वी बिगेन यू कैन ऑलवेज एस योर एग्जामिनेशन विद अन अकेडमीज प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन विच यू कैन नाउ गेट एट अ फ्लैट टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट विच विथ माई कोड एस डब्ल्यू एस टेन guys go ahead and download the application which has got some amazing benefits and when you do that you can get a plus subscription and take my code sws10 use it and get a flat 10% discount uh, on the subscription and welcome to my class dear learners my name is swiksha and i am your english educator it is my passion to learn and teach languages apart from english i know two other languages like french and spanish and there are a host of regional languages that i also know well so that was a little bit about me and now let's understand who after all did patrick's homework we'll begin with vocabulary and let's see some words which we are going to encounter in the chapter so that uh, once we come across this these words we will know what their meanings are the first one is ignoramus ignoramus is an ignorant or a stupid person what is a dish cloth a cloth for washing or drying dishes what is a hamper a hamper is a basket with a carrying handle used for food cutlery plates on a picnic wrinkled means having slight folds glitch is a sudden unusually temporary malfunction uh, or fault of equipment shriek means to utter a high pitched piercing sound words especially as an expression of terror or pain or excitement to shriek okay scowl means it's an angry expression if someone is scowling that means they are probably giving you an angry expression grimaced means expressing disgust pain discomfort or amusement again so these are the words which we might uh, encounter in this chapter and once we do that do remember what is the meaning that we just learned All right then let's begin with the chapter so who did patrick's homework now patrick was a guy who never did his homework he was more interested in playing games and as you can see in the first paragraph he hated homework okay patrick never did homework too boring he said he played hockey and baseball and basketball and nintendo instead so uh, patrick was a person who did not like doing his homework much as what we get from the first paragraph then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away to his surprise at all uh, this was not a doll at all but a man of tiniest size so he found a very tiny sized man and his cat was playing this tiny man was terrified and he uh, he yelled save me don't give me back to that cat i'll grant you a wish i promise you that so it was a tiny man and he said that i'll grant you a wish please just don't give me to that cat he was terrified by the cat patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was here was the answer to all his problems so he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that's 35 days if you do a good enough job i could even get a's now what you have to notice is that in this chapter there are so many rhyming words okay and there is not really a story you can find it a little bit like a poetry okay so uh that was uh, the deal he said that for 35 days you have to do my homework and i might even get a's but the little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in a hamper which is read what a dish cloth is a dish cloth is a washing and cleaning cloth which was thrown in a hamper so his face wrinkled which means he became really sad he didn't want to do the homework but then he had to agree because he said that he would grant any wish for that boy so uh he kicked his leg and doubled his fists and grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips oh i am cursed but i'll do it so i didn't want to do it i uh, we just read the meaning of grimaced and scowled which both of these means giving angry or uh, uncomfortable feeling uncomfortable or giving that look that they are dissatisfied 
so this the tiny man was not really happy about it and true to his word the little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he'd say and patrick would have to help in whatever way so now we can see he'd say in whatever way both of these things are rhyming right so uh so what happened instead of elf doing the homework it was patrick who had to continue to help the elf get his homework done i don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it sound it out by each letter when it came to maths patrick was out of luck what are time tables the elf shrieked to shriek means to uh, give a loud voice right to give a loud shout in a terrified voice what elves never need an addition and subtraction and division and fractions here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so we can see that the elf became more demanding by the day and he needed patrick's help at every step to do his homework it was not really a great deal for patrick as a matter of fact every day uh, as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag who is a nag someone who keeps on bothering you keeps on nagging you keeps on elbowing you keeps on asking you that person is a nag patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights he had never felt so weary was going was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry so he was working a lot patrick these days earlier he would just not do his homework but when the elf came into picture he had to make the elf do his homework and to make him do the homework patrick had to work hard himself and he went to school with eyes which were puffed and blurry finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go as for the homework there was no more so he quietly slyly slipped out of the back door patrick got his a's his classmates amazed his teachers smiled full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick he was now the model kid cleaned his room did his chores and was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude here again we can see that rude and attitude are rhyming you see in the end still though he's made that tiny man do all his homework but i'll share a secret just between you and me it was in the elf patrick had done it himself and this poem, this is by carol moore so we can see how the little elf made patrick do his homework and that is the end of your chapter now let's answer some questions and the following questions refer to that part of text whose number is given against the question this applies to the comprehension questions throughout the book okay so what did patrick think his cat was playing with was it what was it really so we see in the first line that in the, in the second one that uh, second paragraph that patrick's uh, cat was playing with a small doll but this wasn't really a doll when patrick picked it up it started talking it was a little tiny man in fact it was an elf why did the little man grant patrick's wish the little man granted patrick's wish because it was terrified and it did not want to go to the cat again because the cat was really scary and he did not want to again go into the cat's hands so he said do whatever but please don't give me to that cat and i'll grant you a wish and that is how patrick got wish from the elf in what subjects did the little man need help to do patrick's homework so patrick uh, patrick's little man needed help in english because he did not know the meanings of the words and mathematics was completely alien to him so 
he needed a lot of help with english and maths and he did not know anything about human history question number 5 how did patrick help him so patrick helped him by looking up for those words and meanings and solving all his math questions so basically patrick did all the job himself who do you think did patrick's homework the little man or patrick himself give reasons for your answer so of course we see in the uh, poem that patrick has done all the work on his own and the little man only made him work he would ask patrick for meanings of the words he did not know what are times tables no multiplication table and he did not know anything about human history so it was patrick who had to work really hard and do his homework fill in the blanks with the words and phrases from the box look uh, you may not know the meaning of all the words look such words up in dictionary or ask your teacher okay so some people find household dash a bore but i like to help at home so household chores now household chores means the things that we do daily in our houses who stole the diamond in a is still a mystery who stole the diamond is still a mystery now mystery is something that is not known to us so mystery will be the answer for number 2 number 3 this dash we are going to have a class exhibition so this semester this semester we are going to have a class exhibition number 4 dash the f began to help patrick out of luck the help the elf began to help patrick which means he had nowhere to go and that is why the elf had to help patrick i started early to be on time but i was okay uh, i think we will have out of luck in this one so out of luck will be number 6 but i was out of luck there was a traffic jam again out of luck is helpless so it could be used in both of those as well but let's find an answer for the previous one she says she has got a lot of books but i think of most of them are borrowed so uh, number 7 should be okay okay she says she's got a lot of books but between you and me like it's a secret okay between you and me i think most of them are borrowed that will be number 7 okay can you look up this word in the dictionary that is number 5 can you look up this word in the dictionary okay and um, the fourth one will be true to his word which means the elf kept his promise so true to his word the elf began to help patrick so that was all of your words i'll repeat all of them again number 1 will be some people find household chores a bore but i like to help at home who stole the diamond is still a mystery that is number 2 this semester we are going to have a class exhibition so semester is number 3 and number 4 will be true to his word the elf began to help patrick number 5 can you look up this word in the dictionary number 6 i started early to be on time but i was out of luck stuck in a traffic jam number 7 she has got a lot of books but between you and me i think most of them are borrowed so that brings us to the end of this amazing chapter and you can go for the unacademy's plus subscription which gives you a lot of benefits like you get to learn in live classes from india's best educators there's regular doubt solving and answer writing sessions the exhaustive coverage of syllabus mentorship and guidance study material is available in pdf format there are practice tests and live test series there are also batch courses The pricing for the Unacademy's Plus subscription is right now displayed on your screen and if you use my code SWS10 you can also get a flat 10% discount so go for it today. 
We also have the amazing iconic subscription and the benefits are on the screen right now. You get personal mentorship and you also get one on one doubt solving with your mentor. You can do that. Uh, there's weekly report, there's parent connect, there's study planner and all the benefits of the Unacademy's plus subscription. The pricing for the iconic is being displayed on the screen right now and you can use my code SWS10 to get a flat 10% discount on this subscription as well. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really hope that this chapter is now well understood. I will be back again with chapter number 2 from your book Honeysuckle very very soon. Please do like, share and subscribe this uh, subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon so that you do not miss any classes from us. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.